Okay, this is just going to be a quick little video to show how you don't always have to do the math. You just have to use the visuals of where the ball is located on the table and where it's pointed at on the rail. Let's just put a ball out here. We'll just do this. I'm not setting up any certain shot. I'm just rolling the ball out. We'll keep the ball out here like this. See, that makes it a little easier. Let's leave a little more of an angle like that. Now, you definitely need to get the position value of the ball, which I've got. And then I come over here and I look at the alignment value of the ball, and I roll it right out to a half ball, so we're going to move it a little bit, just a little bit. Now that's, that's good. What I want to show is if your straight for the half ball would be here. And then this is actually the cue ball we're going to shoot. If I were here, it would be a half ball. If I were here, it would be a three-quarter ball. So I'm not quite at the three-quarter. I, I can visualize that. All I did was take this position value and split it in half to get this, and split it in half again to get the half of that value. So I've got my basic quarter alignment. It's like the book says to do. I don't have to do any math. I can visually look at this and see that if I were here, it would be a three-quarter. If I were here, it would be a half. I'm a lot closer to a three-quarter. The book says to use the nearest eighth. But like this is a tight table from about this distance we've got a two degree margin of error almost so we could probably aim for the in-between aim point here which is a five eighths and make it but a five eighths is actually here not here here we're actually a little thicker we're almost at the three quarter well i can easily look at that five eighths aim point and come in just a little bit, roll it in about a quarter tip and, and just aim about a quarter of a tip thicker than the 5 8 aim. And what I'm really doing in that when I do that is a 16th. So I'm going in between a 5 8 this is dead in between a 5 8 and a 3 quarter. So I would aim a tiny bit thicker than the 5 eighths to the center pocket. And that's, that's all you have to do is think of a ball. Well, let me move it up here somewhere. We'll do the same thing. Put a roller cue ball around here. We're going to cut for this corner pocket just to make it good. Stop right there. We don't know where it's okay. So, we'll even make it further than that. I'm working on my table, so I've got some parts stocked up back here. I should have done it a little different. So, this whole side of the table is off. You can't see it from the camera angle. But I just had a urge to do this little video. So we'll cut, we'll cut this ball down there. Looks like our 90 is gonna to lead to the side pocket, so we'll have to avoid the scratch shot. So just to show how the system works, let's roll this ball up. So we're not scratching. There we go. So now we're going to get the alignment value again, which I have. Another zone A shot. If I were here, based on this alignment value, if I were here, it would be a half a ball shot. I'm not quite there. All this stuff you can do in your head. I'm not doing any math. I'm just being observant and looking at the values. If I were there, it would be a half a ball. I'm here. If that's half, then here would be a quarter. I'm almost at the quarter. In between a half a ball and a quarter ball is a three-eighths aim. I'm a little thinner than a three-eighths, but not as thin as a quarter. Well, I know exactly where the 3 8 aim is. This side of my shaft is going to be flush with the ball if I could stroke all the way through to there. So what I'm going to do, move this out of the way, is I'm going to, I'm going to go just a quarter, a quarter of the tip size, probably just about an eighth of an inch or so off the end of that edge of that ball. So I'm a little bit thinner than a 3 8 but not quite as thin as a quarter. Now 
scratch shot. I didn't see the scratch shot. But that, that's all you really have to do. I keep hitting tools and everything down here. That's all you have to do. You don't really have to do the math so much as just observe. And then look at the lines. Where this ball is laying right there, a half a ball is here. Um, we'll swap cue balls so we're shooting this shot. A half a ball, based on this position, a half a ball shot is going to be in line here. A quarter ball shot is going to be in line right there. And if I put all these balls up here together, which I can't, this is kind of in the way, but I am closer to the half than I am to the quarter. Halfway in between those two aim points, the book says, is a 3 8. Well, this shot is actually a little thicker than a 3 8. It's not quite as thin as a half ball. I mean, as thick as a half ball shot. It's a little bit thinner. There's a 3 8. Right in the center, right there. So that's why I probably I can shoot this. It's close enough. A 3 8 is going to make it. But I can tell by looking if, if I were lying right there would be a 3 8. So it's a tiny bit thicker than a 3 8. So I could actually put about a fourth of my shaft inside the edge of the ball and three fourths out instead of splitting it dead on a half ball. I'll try that. I'm just a little thicker than a 3 8 and thinner than a half. And I'd hit the facing right there, which from this angle, that's where you want to hit. You want to hit in this side of the pocket. Um, I, pr I probably could have went ahead and stroked that ball at the half a ball, and it probably would have went even closer over here. But on this table, you don't want to catch these going into the pocket. But that's all I wanted to show is that you don't necessarily have to do math. You can just step up look at the position value of the ball, the most math you have to do is divide that in half. You'll know where the half ball is, which just happens to be sitting on a half ball. And the quarter ball would be here. I mean, a three quarter ball would be there. Quarter ball shot would be right there. If I were in between, I could do an in between. I could even go a little thinner than what the in between would be right here, which is breaking up into sixteenths. And the more you get familiarized with these fractions and you're not doing math anymore, you're just seeing the angles, your brain will automatically start adding a little here, taking off a little there. You'll get up and say, well, this is almost a half. You'll know what almost a half a ball is. It may be, you won't even pay attention where you're aiming probably, but you'll end up aiming a little thinner than a half or a little thicker than a half, but not quite a 3 eighths or not quite a 5 eighths. You'll be do doing these little things in probably 30 second fractions and not even realize that you're making those fine tuning adjustments to, to make the balls go in the pocket. So, that's it.